Welcome to Great Expectations. Your boy Todd here. Today we're going to do a little work on our uh, Blue Sky Boat Works Angler 360. I, now I have a Big Fish 108. I have a Lifetime Tamarack Angler. I have a Pelican. can't remember what model it is, but it's a three-seater. We have a Hobie Winks. So we have one, two, three, five different types of kayaks. And they all serve a purpose. The Lynx is a rocket ship. It's stable. My girlfriend loves it. It's light. It's like 40 some pounds. We can top it on top of a car and just go with it. And I, I love that about it. The Big Fish 108, you can put that thing out in the middle of the ocean. It ain't, it, it ain't it's as steady as a rock. It's a big old battleship. The Lifetime Tamarack, I throw that in my little creeks um, up in the mountains when I want to hit these small little creeks and I uh, don't want to hit the uh, pedal drive and stuff like that. And then my big pelican, um, I can't remember the name of it, but again, it's these three people. I can put me and my boys on it. If I'm doing real estate work, I can put clients on it and pedal them around the lake or paddle them around the lake. But when it comes to overall favorites, I have to say my Angler 360 right here has absolutely taken my heart. I love this thing. This thing is like fishing on a bass boat and i love it there's nothing about it that i don't love um i, I love it I, I do love it the only thing that i wanted to change well we did uh, we put up what we did we ha we've had some issues with the seal i'll admit that some of the issues were it was squeaking when you were in it so we took gorilla tape we took our seat off here um, and I can cut into some video and do some time lapse and show you. But we take the straps off. We take Gorilla Tape. Don't use electrical tape. Use electrical tape. Um, it squeaks too. So use Gorilla Tape. Just wrap your bar right where your seat cushion meets, and the squeak is gone. 100% gone. I did it up here. Did it right here. Did it on these straps. No more squeak. The issue we have now is under this seat there are. A couple screws that sit up and we'll go ahead and pull this up here so you can see them the issue we have right now is there are I don't know if you can see those or not there's a couple screws on this platform there's one there one there and then there's two in the back there but what I did with the two in the back was I actually took um, bottle caps put over top of them put over top of them and then put some gorilla tape to hold that bottle cap on there so that kept them from digging as you can see they were digging they were digging into the seat so that kept that from digging into the seat and hopefully y'all can see that because i can't see what was on my camera the issue i have now is where this was hitting the screw is hitting the top of this bottle cap and just kind of you know in all honesty um it kind of kind of rubs you sore in a certain spot on your posterior so i figured the best way to combat that is put a little extra foam under here it'll protect the seat and it'll protect behind me <laughs> so i went to uh academy and got this uh pretty nice uh it's a bcg let's see if you can see it there bcg foam fitness map uh, it's 24 inch by 72 inch it was on sale for 24 dollars it comes in a big roll like this rolled up see it's pretty thick it's uh half inch yeah right over compress it has right at a half inch or more thick very soft very pliable which is exactly what i wanted to use on this i didn't want something hard and rigid um, because i didn't want it just being painful on the butt so what I did was I went in here and I measured, um, let's go and get this in angle here. Let's lift our camera up a little bit, just a little bit better angle. So what I did on this was I went in and I measured from post to post. So 17 and a quarter, I measured from post to post, right at 19 inches. So I came in, cut me two pieces of foam out of that roll that we bought. I cut this one at 17 and a half, 
and the length I did just a little over 19 right I think right 19 and a half I cut two pieces um, so I went a half inch over what I needed because I wanted some overlap so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two pieces stack them on top of each other and then we're gonna take put them under the seat like so and then redo the straps underneath them so that that foam is holding to the bottom of the thing and then all the straps will be under it to hold it up against the seat so that when you sit down the foam hits the top of those bottle caps uh, and you can use screw toppers I didn't feel like running to Lowe's and getting those little plastic screw top. I just took two bottle caps put them on there and grill tape over top of it and just held them down real simple but this will keep the the seat from from hurting our butt uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some two-sided I have this uh, two-sided Gorilla Tape I'm going to put strips on the back of it here and I'm actually going to Gorilla Tape these two together so that they don't slide and move back and forth so it's it's like one one-inch piece of foam right there now like I said you can buy different foam but I bought this foam uh, Academy Sports is right down the road it's about less than a quarter mile from my house so that's what uh, why we went there and that's what they had and that's what I wanted to use and it gives me some leftover for other things but I'm gonna take and like I said I'll put their strips on there double-sided tape together and then we'll put it in there and I'll show you how we do that here this is just a test strip and uh, we'll go ahead and get that started peeling that off right there so I went ahead and put um, and the reason I did a test strip to see how this tape was gonna hold to this um, foam but it holds perfect if you want to you can even take some light alcohol and real quick just wipe it down to make it stick better but for now this is seemed to be sticking good I'm gonna take and peel my backing off my Gorilla Tape and then I'm gonna take my other piece and go carefully I can do this without making a mess here I'm gonna stick them together to make one piece of foam. Apologize for squeak, that's my trailer. So now I have a one inch piece of foam. Got the, the double sided tape in there and uh, that holds it together. So that makes a big piece of foam and see how much give that's got. That's gonna be really comfortable. So we'll start working on getting it in there now. All right, for those of you that don't know how to undo your seat on the, it's really simple. There's um, one, two, three, there's one, two, one, two, three, five straps underneath. They just come undone. You just pull this right here and they just unstrap and then that whole piece comes off. And that's how you can get your Gorilla Tape on there. So what we did is we undid all of them, but the back one. And be sure you slide it between the strap and the seat. And you get it put in there. You can put the, the pieces up on top of the bar right there. <clears throat> that piece goes down there. And so you can see how that's going to sit. Just like that. Right underneath our mat, I mean our seat. Um, it's going to cushion this bar a little bit. Sometimes this bar will dig into your legs if you're sitting at an awkward angle. So all this will give you cushion. And then what we do is we take... And you're going to do your side straps first. So, <clears throat> kind of hard to see. So we can lower this down maybe and get a good view here. So, if you can see, hopefully you can. You're going to take up under here, pull your straps back together, and then pull them tight. So then this strap, you reach across. Get your buckle. Alright, we'll turn our seat this way. We'll reach across. And that's our front strap. So use that one. Our side strap. So we'll take our side strap. We have our buckle right here. We're just going to feed this through the top and back out the bottom. That's going to be just like that. 
now that we have that one pull it up here reach across grab the tag in pull that one tight this one feed it across turn our chair get our buckle we have our strap right here mm, let me get my clippers out of the way i got myself a little pair of clippers on a yeah you know, little lanyard there and i clip it right on the strap so get that out of the way so we're gonna take our strap make sure we're clear of all the obstructions under there again feed it through the top the top of the buckle and then back down through the bottom okay get that put in there right. stuff that back in there turn our seat in that swivel seat awesome that's just great one of the best things about this so then you take pull that one tight so now we'll really cinch them down you got enough under there you can grab it pull it tight pull it tight pull it tight all right so now we got our side ones done so now we get our back straps right here feed them up through underneath the side straps again see the buckle you're going to feed through the top and out the bottom just like that you take the tag in and just pull it tight just like that there's our buckle so we feed our strap back through again out to the front let's roll our seat out the top through the bottom make sure your straps are are straight not twisted makes a big difference also make sure that you get so I just made a mistake there I actually went under our steering bar our steering column there our steering uh, levers make sure you go over top of it because if you don't then you won't be able to get it tight like you need to under there again just grab that tag in seat around reach up grab the tag in and then cinch it down to where you want it to where it's tight pull it grab this one I get a hold of it grab this one pull it tight there you have it put that foam above that screw foam buff screw there make sure your foam is all in a good spot center our seat a little bit here we go so there you have it so now you have your seat on there you can see it's tight and you have your extra foam right here cover those gaps and then when you sit down that foam is going to let's see if we can get a good look at this for you so that seat those bottle caps sit on top of that foam right there and that seat will now that foam will hit those bottle caps and that foam will protect your seat and your butt. Hopefully this little mod helps you out. Hope it'll make your seat more comfortable. And uh, I think you'll like it and enjoy it. And if you have any other suggestions or ideas, put them in the comments below. And uh, give me what you've done maybe to your Blue Sky Boat Works, your seat, or the seat on your other kayak. We had a video up of our Big Fish 108. It's sitting over there uh, where we did our gravity seat install on it. So always upgrading and trying to make things better. Um, you know and innovative and maybe the companies will see this and realize hey we need to put a little more pad in there we need to fix this screw cover or something so uh put those comments down the bottom give me a like likes really help us it helps our videos grow 
uh, subscribe share the channel and uh, give me any feedback you have I mean good or bad I mean just you know obviously be nice about it but um, give me feedback because that's the only way we'll get better we've got some other videos coming up of our uh, Hobie Winks we put uh, skid plate on the back of it we redid that so uh, that video will be coming soon and uh, who knows what else uh, maybe some more fishing videos so I appreciate you guys checking us out remember God loves you and if you don't know about the plan of salvation hit me up I'll be glad to share it with you also love your family we'll talk to you later peace <laughs>